I asked about uh, three things. The first is that he intends to uh, pray tahajjud, but uh, he oversleeps. It seems like it's uh, something that happens a lot. So he gets up at Fajr. Uh, when the person takes the proper means, such as going to sleep earlier, and uh, uh, setting up your alarm, and you go to sleep and you don't get up, you get the reward of intending to pray tahajjud even though you overslept. But when the person goes to sleep very late and does not set up any alarm and says, I was planning to get up to pray tahajjud or planning to get up to pray fajr, and he does not. If it is a nafl, he will not be rewarded. But if it is a fard, like for fajr, somebody goes to sleep an hour or half hour before fajr and says, I'm planning to get up for fajr. It's very hard. You didn't get enough rest. And the shaitan normally puts the person to sleep, approaching the prior time, particularly Fajr and Isha. So in this case, he will be blameworthy if he misses the prayer. But for the nafl, he will be deprived from the reward. But if the person did his best, uh, took the proper means, set up his alarm, and did not wake up, he gets a full reward of the good intention of praying the Hajjat. Some people like Abu Bakr Siddiq, may Allah be pleased with him, prefer to pray which to pray whatever they want to pray of the Nafli prayer, and which before going to sleep. They prefer to be in the safe side. While we have another example, Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him. He was a man of uh, uh, a very strong will. He says, I want to wake up before Fajr to pray Tahajjud. He doesn't have to sit up an alarm he would definitely wake up. So that's why he used to postpone witch. That's uh, something that we learn from that. If you are regular in praying tahajjud and so on, then it is recommended to pray tahajjud and save the witch to the end. But if there's something that you want to begin and uh, you're struggling with yourself, then I would advise you to pray witch before going to sleep. And if still, if you get up, you can pray tahajjud as much as you want in even numbers without having to repeat the witch once again.